again to games that I worked on, Red Faction Guerrilla. This is part four. I'm doing things a little bit differently this time. Previously I was making a live stream and then copying that from Twitch TV over to YouTube. This time I'm just making doing the whole thing locally and using a different mic. Uh, this mic is also a bit more sensitive than the other mic, so while my voice will work better, you'll also pick up some mouse clicks and which is going to be annoying. But, so I'm going to get started. The last time we left off, I had just done a brief tour of the Badlands, showed people around, did a mission, or showed people and showed you, watchers, presumably you've watched the rest of this playlist before coming to this part. If you haven't, then go back and check it out. I've got Get one more mission in the Badlands to do, and then I've got to smash a whole bunch of stuff in order to get the Liberation mission. So I'm going to go do that mission real quick. And then do try to get to the Badlands Liberation mission, because that's the one, that's the super stealthy mis mission that I talked about once before. All the way back in part one about the, the mission that is, can be done stealthily. And it is one of the more rewarding Stealth methodologies. Uh, hopefully, it won't take me too long to get there. So, I do have to get a couple of upgrades done as well. But uh, again, I don't think it should take too long. I think I'm going to try to keep these parts down to about hour, hour and a half, instead of the two and a half hours that part one and two were. Even though those were perfectly timed out purely by accident. So Badlands, nice spider buggy. I think I've talked a little bit about them before. They're fun to drive. This one's got a gun on it. Guns are always good. One thing that I will show about the bridge later on when I get around to actually wrecking it. So you can still see like the I talked before about the sort of the lack of shortcut and setups with the GPS. But they do have some like I mean some of the paths are dynamic. Just like right now the GPS leads you across the bridge, but once that bridge is not there, GPS takes you the long way around. Which is not tremendously difficult to set up, I guess, but still kind of neat. A neat little touch. And here we go. Mission. EDF soldiers in Oasis fired on a worker rally and killed 58 people. Those bastards are injured. We're sending them a truckload of medical supplies, but these checkpoints block the shortest route. If you can hear that barking, which maybe you can, it's a dog. Before our truck arrives, the turrets pose the greatest threat and are your top priority. The faster we get to Oasis, the more lives we save. And if you heard that, that is my stepbrother. They do not wait until the all's clear is given. Spoilers. Because they are dumb. Out of this truck. I don't want to get out of the truck. Why don't you guys hold still and let me run you over? Coming up on the checkpoint now. 
No, what? Ah. Yeah, like I said, they don't wait. You would think they would. Just they're, you know, running medical supplies and everything, and that guy's shooting me a lot, and I'm about to die. This is not going to work. Oh, you're under attack. Well, maybe I should have waited until I gave you the all clear, huh? Like you said it would? Idiots. And then of course, well, no, I guess they do keep moving on. And that truck, wow, they, those guys got in the jeep and ran. That's, I don't think that's ever happened to me before. There they are. They got in a car and ran down the truck. That was kind of crazy. Smash. Yeah, maybe you should have waited until I gave you the all clear, you jerks. guys to kill in here. Yep, and I am still carrying the nano rifle, so I can do this trick again. Hopefully. Maybe not. Yep. Yeah, that worked. Sweet. Nano rifle is also really good for getting through these walls. You don't mind wasting your nano rifle ammo. And then EDF was nice enough to leave me a walker here. It's one of the few times you get one of these walkers that you get to just run around with on a mission. Then you get to keep it after the mission. are great for just completely wrecking stuff and getting lots of just picking up scrap. Let's go to the actual combat. Part of that is obviously because of the much lamented crappy PC controls. Or, you know, not as good as they could have been PC controls. EDF vehicles are also the only vehicles that give you scrap when they blow up.
Yay! Money. All right, I'm gonna take this guy, run around, smash up some more stuff. Oh, after the mission ends, that guy like respawns. Apparently, totally doesn't even mind that I'm just here in a walker right behind him. Legitimate walker business. It's totally legit. It was one of those race activities in that with that car right there, but I don't want to do that because I need to use this walker for walker business. I don't get it destroyed because that would really suck. Oh, bugger. Okay. I'm going to do some other things with this one. Oh, no. I keep blowing things up. That's not what I want to do. I go this way. Once again, I want to say kudos on the sound design on this game, because it, you know, the walker's got a real physicality to it that comes in large part from the sound design, of sort of, you know, clicking of the hydraulic pistons and the thumps of its boots, and then... I think, I think if I were to rank Volition's games, just all of them in general, probably be... Oh man, what? You're not supposed to be here. Who are you? Oh, you're with Marauders. Yes, Marauders do come after me for mining their stuff here. Because they're jerks. But anyway, yes, ranking Volition's games. I'd probably put Free Space 2, number one. I mean, clearly, I'm classic and old school, and Free Space 2 is the best. And then I'd probably... Saints Row 2, not Saints Row 3, I think Saints... I was actually more than a little bit disappointed in Saints Row 3, but I'll get into that when I get around to doing games that I worked on Saints Row 3, which will be in the future. Uh, Red Faction Gorilla right under Saints Row 2. Uh, then Saints Row 3. Are just following me everywhere? Uh, and I still haven't even, I still haven't gotten around to Saints Row 4 yet, which is a shame, but I think I was just, just from the changes that were done to it from, I know, as again, this thing that I should probably not go into just now, but yeah, Saints Row 4, original design doc, completely different game than Saints Row 4 that got released by Deep Silver. EDF. He had a guy just smashing things up with his robot walker and in peace. Apparently not. Yeah. Also, sound design with its being as damaged as it is, is it sounds really creaky. Pistons are out of alignment. In the knocking. It's a bit of fun. Right. I don't want to destroy the bridge yet. Just 
way. I think I might have to go to a safe house. I think I am. I think once you hit orange, it doesn't go back down, so you either die or go to a safe house. Which is different than I remember. people and people that I worked with I don't remember if I got so much said so much during a critical reception saying this walker was totally aliens inspired which I mean, yeah obviously but I think it also owes a lot of its design I feel to the, to the e-frames from Exosquad was a pretty great show. Almost there. Almost back to the... Almost back to the safe house. They're smoking wreckage. They're walking smoking wreckage. Yay. There we go. Smash up these wrecks. Oh, oh man. Oh, that's on fire. I gotta get out of there. Run! Walker, I salute you. That's why I don't want to go all the way around like that. That's just dumb. Okay. Gotta go up. Is that the commander's office? No, it's not the commander's office. Or. That's what we're going on here. Oh, wait, I can't. Oh, man. I don't have the jetpack yet. Jetpack. I don't know why my tongue stumbled on that. Oh, no! Oh. Oh, don't die. Yeah, I don't want to lose ore. Smashing an ore deposit and then not getting the ore is the worst thing in the world. Okay, I'm gonna do this dome master. I don't think I need, need the jetpack to do it. just faster with the jetpack because I can don't have to climb up these ladders, I can just fly. I 
And then, of course, I don't die when I jump off the thing. Oh. Thirty-two seconds. Yeah, Pearl's fifteen. The only way to do that in fifteen seconds is with the jetpack.